Hey everyone, I'm super excited. Um, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know I've been working on a teasing for uh, my mom as part of our Christmas gift, but I have it done. So this is the original and this is the cover and I designed this. I just scanned in a little picture I drew and then um, colored it in in Photoshop. And then this is my first page and so I wanted to create a character, Miss Pedigree, that kind of goes through afternoon tea. But uh, I realized, you know, it is hard to create a character and keep drawing her. So I only have her a couple times. This is a little embellishment I made. Um, I drew her and then added some paper and cut her all apart and shading. And then I did a brief little history of tea. And then here start the rules. So I have some rules here. Here's Miss Pedigree again, telling you don't have two things in your mouth. Again, another little drinking lady I did. More rules. Um, just a quote. This is the original scan of this, um, of that little teacup design. This image I had uh, sketched. I wasn't sure if I was going to use it, but decided to anyway. You know, there's something kind of fun about, you know, when you're a kid and have little tea parties with, you know, your imaginary friends. Here's a recipe from this pedigree for scones. Another little tea lady I did. Um, just some ideas on teas to serve. I did all these little drawings. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do with the back page. And then the back here I did get from Graphics Fairy. Um, it just, it worked really well and it was, you know, kind of what I wanted. So I went for it. I just want to talk really fast about like pagination. Um, it, what helped me is when I decided on the 16 pages, and the four pages, you know, of actual paper, I folded everything, put it together in a book that went through and numbered them out so you know this is front cover back cover inside cover back cover but then when you kind of go inside here it gets a little bit more tricksy you can see you know this now becomes page 12 and page 3 i don't i didn't number these but you know what I, so it helps to kind of create them a mock book first so you know exactly what you're doing uh, and I got lost in it a lot of times. So, super excited to share that with you. And I did already go make a copy at our little local print place. And I'm not sure if I'm totally happy with the copies, but, um, you know, it's enough here to show you. So I did bind it then um, with like a, I think, what is that, a saddle bind? Just with some of the wax thread and that type of stuff. So... I did add a pocket then up here uh, on this page and this is the recipe for the perfect pot of tea. So I do, I just like to add stuff, you know, even though it's photocopied and stuff like that. Here I noticed that this cut off, so I'm going to have to fill that back in or go make different copies. I'm not sure because like I feel that their copy machine isn't totally great. Like the gradients are like more of a blob. Um, but I don't, I don't know. We'll see. But I really like this page. And then, so the back page, what I'm going to do is, because it says, in case of emergency, break for tea. And then I'm going to have a little tea bag in here. And I just need to get some Earl Grey tea. Um, but I'm going to have that in there. So that's my little tea zine. Again, it will go into a bigger junk journal um, for my mom for Christmas. And hopefully I'll have that junk journal done here within like a week or so. It seems to be taking forever. But anyway, little zine, really excited. So thanks so much for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.